Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to COD Zombies HQ, where we're here chilling in the headquarters, but it's not going to be this headquarters for very much longer. Today we got our first in-game footage of the Winter Siege event, which is going to start this Friday, December 8th in Call of Duty World War II. This event and the game patch that's releasing with it is going to bring about some big changes, fixes, and major additions to Call of Duty World War II. The most notable of those changes will be here in the headquarters where the HQ is getting a winter overhaul. Taking a look at some screenshots of this winter headquarters, as well as some in-game footage released in a trailer today, we can see some of the major changes to the headquarters map includes basically Christmas lighting across most of the actual HQ area. As we suspected, a big Christmas tree placed right in front of the spawn area. You can see the skybox has been changed a little bit, so it's a little bit darker over the channel. And of course, you can see that it's going to be snowing in the headquarters. But but that's not all that's going to be changed in the headquarters. The quartermaster lady that you might know and love is going to be replaced for the duration of the Winter Siege event by Captain Butcher. He's a British Special Operations Officer and will provide new collections that you can spend your armory credits on in order to unlock the new DLC weapons that are coming to the game, but a little bit on that later. In terms of other changes coming to the headquarters, we've only seen glimpses of the HQ Christmas map so there might be some other easter eggs and changes made to the map that we don't even know about yet they've only shown us the winter hq near the spawn area so we haven't even seen what the beach side of the hq looks like and hey if they're updating the headquarters map there's always a chance that they might change the 1v1 pit layout too they didn't specifically advertise it but hey you never know new content being added to the game along with the winter siege update includes winter carantan which will basically be a winter Winter version of the Carantan map that's available to Seasons Pass holders, but Winter Carantan will be made available to everybody throughout the Winter Siege event. Next up, we knew it was coming, but Gun Game will be officially added into COD World War II on December 8th. It's been listed on a blank stat and player's combat records for a while now, and while Gun Game is being added, there has been no word on the other game modes that we know to be completed within the game, which includes infected, demolition, and control among others. There is a chance that Sledgehammer will be releasing these game modes sometime later during this event, but as we know, these game modes are pretty much ready to go. They're completed in the game files. We're just waiting on Sledgehammer to flip the switch to activate them to the public, and I can think of no better time to add infected into COD World War II than right before the holidays. New weapons are also on their way to COD World War II, including the Gewehr 43, the Sten Ice Pick GPMG and the Trench Knife in terms of how to actually gain access to these DLC weapons. Michael Condry, one of the Sledgehammer Co. Studio heads, kind of laid it down over on Twitter where he said, Yes, you can earn them through a number of means, directly by completing each of the Winter Weapon Special Challenges as collection rewards from the new Quartermaster Butcher with armor credits or via supply drops. So in terms of the first point, taking a look at the first week of the Winter Siege schedule here, you can see that there's of course three steps of challenges for us to complete. There's the weekly order, the daily order, and the contracts. Each of them apparently reward us with a winter supply drop reward, which we assume is unlocking a specific weapon. That was added with the Winter Siege update. We're not 100% sure if you have to do, you know, one weekly order or if there's going to be a certain contract to unlock a new weapon, or maybe you have to complete several daily orders. We're not 100% sure of the way it's going to work yet, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon. And in terms of the last way to unlock the new weapons, besides filling up the collections over by the Quartermaster is by getting them through a winter supply drop. We assume this is going to be a new kind of supply drop added into the game. We're gifted a few of them each week. We're not exactly sure how they can be earned, if they can be earned through regular gameplay, or if you're going to have to actually purchase them via COD points from the Quartermaster. But I think the way it's going to work here is similar to Black Ops 3, where if you get a variant of a DLC weapon in the supply drop, that automatically means you unlock the base version of that variant to play in multiplayer. So overall, it kind of sucks that we're not getting the DLC weapons like they did in Infinite Warfare, but I guess it's better than Black Ops 3 in that there are other ways to earn weapons besides just getting them from supply drops. 
The only thing that kind of worries me here is they say that Butcher, the new Quartermaster, will be available for a certain amount of time, and same with the new Winter Siege challenges. Meaning after Winter Siege is over, it seems like the only way to get the new DLC weapons will be through a supply drop. Hopefully that's not the case and they'll still have the DLC weapons in the Quartermaster and via challenges after the event, but that's where it seems like they're headed right now. So along with the Winter Siege update, there's going to be a major patch to the game as well. The first change is coming to ranked play where they're making some changes to the band list as well as the map rotation. On the multiplayer side, they're only advertising the main points of the multiplayer fixes, I guess for now, which include fixed score streak training exploits, which may fix us being able to get into the grounds and playing the HQ in a multiplayer game. If so, that really sucked. It's more fun to do that than anything. I don't think it really hurts anybody. They're going to fix more prestige exploits, and finally, they're going to add a mute all function in the HQ. But of course, that's not all of the changes, and of course, they're going to be advertising that there's much more fixes in this patch that they're going to detail when the patch is officially released this Friday. In terms of zombies fixes, we finally have a deadline of when they're actually going to start fixing stuff, including issues where XP is being lost and supply drops after prestiging, plus a lot more according to them. We're also expecting that the new DLC weapons being added with the Winter Siege update are also going to be added into Zombies. There hasn't been any official confirmation of this, but we know that the weapons, which are already in the game files, mind you, can be played and are usable within the Zombies mode. And furthermore, it's been found that there are pack-a-punched versions of the new weapons within the game files, meaning if it seems like there's Pack-a-Punch versions of the guns, there's no reason for them to not put them in the main Zombies mode. So hopefully we'll be seeing some new weapons kind of liven up that mystery box within the final Reich very, very soon. Also, the PC version is finally going to get the Emblem Creator as well as Ranked Play on December 8th. In terms of patch changes that we can expect in the future, Michael Condry again over on Twitter outlined his plans for the BAR, which is considered again the best weapon in the game, saying, We did nerf the bar post-launch which they added recoil, as well as increase the hipfire spread, but he continues, it wasn't enough, and we will likely nerf it again. But deliberate changes are better for players than oversteering changes that take weapons people have invested time in and render them useless. So he wants to nerf the bar again, but not to the point that it's going to make it useless compared to an alternative weapon like the FG-42 or something like that. There's no deadline on when that's going to be added, but we assume there's going to be another patch during the Winter Siege event, and that's when another bar nerf is probably going to be located in. And moving on from talking about the Winter Siege event, I've been getting a lot of responses responses from you guys on Twitter, noticing that at certain points around the map in the headquarters for some people, there appears to be an interactable button. The first one you can see here sent in by Beastie over on Twitter shows that there is an interactable button near the actual spawn area of the headquarters on the PS4. He said he tried to hold down the interact button, but it didn't move past a certain point in the progression. Then Dakota also sent me this picture over on the PC of another interactable button, but instead it's here over in the firing range. Dakota said he thought he noticed a couple more around the map, and he refers to that this might be a new Easter egg. Firstly, I can definitely confirm that this does happen in-game. I've seen it myself, and my friend has seen it in different areas than what's been showing. In my game, it was right near to the anti-aircraft cannon by the firing range, but the fact that it's happening across platforms is really interesting. It does seem to me that it's most likely a bug. Why they're appearing there, I'm not exactly sure. They're appearing in random positions, really random positions. So it seems like if that progression bar, you know, went all the way to full and maybe the prompt disappeared after you held it down for a few seconds, then it would be more likely that it was an Easter egg. This seems like it's a glitch. Obviously have no idea what's causing it or why the locations where it's located are so random but hey you never know with these things until we get official confirmation that something like this was fixed if you see this in your game definitely shoot me a picture over on twitter i'd love to take a look at some of the other locations where these button prompts are appearing on the headquarters well that wraps up today's news update guys i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you
you haven't already. The Winter Siege event is almost here, a bunch of new content that we've been craving for a while in COD World War II. I want to thank you very much again for watching, and I'll see you with another Call of Duty video tomorrow. Peace out.